everyone and welcome back to another episode of Social Divas. Today we will be talking about a 51-year-old cold case of the disappearance of Claude and Martha Sue Shelton. So they went missing in the year 1971 from Kentucky and Claude Shelton and his wife, who goes by her middle name Sue, left their residence at Gary's Trailer Park on the 18th Street in Corbin and has never returned. So, what I've gathered is that they came back home from a party they put the three kids to bed and they left and went out to another party that is what I am gathering and so they are apparently en route to King's truck stop five miles away And this is according to the daughter who overheard them talking after going to bed. So apparently, she was still awake. So they... Sorry. They apparently um, left. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So they presumably left in their vehicle in a white 1967 Ford Galaxy 500 and but none of the employees at King's remembers ever seeing them so somewhere between home and the truck stop or maybe they say that they were going to a truck stop but they were going somewhere else instead like maybe another party which I gathered and they took a detour and something must have happened so a lot of people are saying that in those years in the 1970s to the 1990s if people really want to disappear they can and that's probably what Claude and Sue did they just put their daughter to sleep had some financial difficulties and just up and left and started a new life but Starting a new life is not exactly what Claude and Sue's family said because Claude has had a steady job for 10 years and according to witnesses, both he and his wife are very fond of their children. I am trying to use present tense because I have high hopes that they are still out there somewhere that maybe I've heard that in cases that if you that like that people has been kidnapped and then has been told that this is their new name and they've been using a new name for so many years that they tend to forget what their actual name is. And it's not the same as changing their, getting a new identity because it's not really video got cut and I didn't want to restart it. So we're gonna continue. So, according to witnesses, both he and his wife are very fond of their children and it's unlikely that they will just 
up and leave them. And police are hoping DNA evidence collected on the Thursday afternoon in Knoxville. I don't know how the it will it's really leading to it, but will lead to new information in the nineteen seventy one cold case and until today the police actually can't seem to find what actually happened. They have sent dive teams into the lake between the house and where the truck stop is but apparently the the dive teams even the outside source dive teams has no luck in finding um, Claude and Sue's car. So what really happened between the house and the truck stop probably is that they saw someone who is in need of help. Probably the car broke down and they have picked the wrong person to pick up and has been held hostage whether the Mata and Claude was mud is murdered we don't really know or whether they have been like s kidnapped, smuggled out of the country and like sold off no one really knows either because CCTV at that time are not as common even in truck stops it's not that common either in it. and obviously when the investigator got there and learned this um, for the sake of you know knowledge about the money he had them check and it was gone 